Council, well, come on, put your hands together for Jesus in this place. Amen. You won't leave you like you came. In Jesus' name. Bound, oppressed, afflicted, sick or lame. For the power of the Lord is still the same. You won't leave here like you came in Jesus' name. Can I say it one more time, y'all? You won't leave here like you came. How many folks come to be delivered today? In Jesus' name. Thank you, Brother Michael. Somebody might be bound. Somebody might be afflicted. Sick or lame. For the power of the Lord is still the same. And look them in the eye and tell them, you won't leave here like you can. Come on, somebody get excited for Jesus in this place. In Jesus' name. Might be bound. Y'all want to have a little church up in here today? Might be afflicted. Sick or sick or lame. For the power. Before you go, let that person next to you let their hand go and take that hand and point it at yourself and say, I won't leave here like I came. How many folks want to be delivered today? In Jesus' name. For it's in the name of Jesus that every knee shall bow and every tongue must confess. God, we give you all praise and honor and glory today. We count it done in your name. Amen. Amen. Truly, the call has been set and we are grateful to be here. And y'all, when I tell you I'm grateful to be here, I mean I'm grateful to be here. Last week I had four wisdom teeth taken out. And just got the stitches off yesterday. Mm. But look at your David and say, sometimes you got to press through. <laughs> Even when pain is arising. So we wanna we wanna we wanna say a word in the name of Jesus today. Our task is to share with you on today the sixth word. So come from John chapter 19. Beginning at verse number 29. Uh -huh. You have to say amen. 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 Sounds pretty good. It's, it reads. Now thou was set a vessel full of vinegar. And they filled a sponge with vinegar and put it upon hyssop and put it into his mouth. And when Jesus therefore had received the vinegar, he said... It is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. I'd like to put emphasis right there where it says, It is finished. I'd like to use for a subject today, Paid in full. Paid in full. My brothers and my sisters, we all had 
some things that we had to purchase. We had some things that we had to purchase that we could not pay for completely upon the day of receiving. Some folk have had to have things financed and some folk have had to put things on layaway and some folk like the older generation would have to get what they call putting things on time. Do I have any real folk up in here today? Well, my brothers and sisters, no matter which three of these circumstances you been in in your life, there's no greater feeling than knowing that it is now paid in full. Are y'all going to help me today? Pay, paid in full. Paid in full means that are no more installments. There's no more pay a little bit this time and pay a little bit next time. No more mortgage coupons. Come on, talk to me somebody. No more lien holder. Uh, no more notes to be paid. Why? Because it is now paid in full. No more nothing to be paid. It's paid in full, which means you don't owe nobody nothing. Why? Because the price has already been paid. Oh, you can call me if, uh, if you want. You can call me and, and, uh, and tell me all those things that I owe you this and I owe you that. But when I pull out my receipts and I look at all of the things that I know I paid you, I don't have to worry about those things because I know that I have paid you in full. I don't have to worry about nobody else. My brothers and my sisters, the scripture says that after Jesus had received the vinegar, he said, it is finished. It is finished. It's finished. It's finished. He said, it is finished. It was a cry of our Lord Jesus Christ before his death. But y'all will help me today. It's finished, my brothers and sisters. And I ask you, I ask you, uh, it was a, was it a cry of defeat? Or was it a cry of failure? It's finished. Was it a cry of despair or was it a cry of disappointment? My brothers and sisters, I stand before you and I ask you, what is, what was he talking about? What is the finished product? What does this cry of Jesus really, really, really mean? Well, my brothers and sisters, three things come to mind. The first thing is it sounds like Jesus' life is finished. Hey! 